And what we're doing here is we're just setting up for our hungy. We've had our fire going since about 6.30 this morning. Um, the rocks have been in there, so they're nice and hot. We're now digging the rocks out and placing the rocks in amongst the food. That way the heat will actually sort of transfer through the food and, it, and it'll be the heat in the rocks that'll do the, do the cooking. Our pig was uh, Frances. She weighed about uh, well, over 300 kilos and she dressed out at uh, 258 kilos. The students get a great deal out of it. You can see a lot of our students are Pacific Islander, so we're obviously celebrating their culture. This is absolutely hands-on experience. Agriculture is a practical subject and we learn by doing. So my name is Jordan, I'm 16. Um, I'm studying, currently studying ag and horticulture. Um, I've been working on this farm for about roughly two years now. You've got to know the dangers, what to do, what not to do. I reckon you learn a lot more from hands-on than theory-based. Like, Struggle Street only showed the bad side of Bidwell. It didn't show any of the good side. Like, if they really wanted to, they could, could have publicised the school, the school farm, and show our work, what we do at the farm. You know. There's more positive happen happening out here than negative, really. Saba's making tabbouleh. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice salad with mint, parsley, so really good thing. Good way of yeah. using your herbs. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. so healthy. At this particular facility, this is a, an education facility that obviously focuses on agriculture. We have year nine and 10 involved in agriculture. And can I just get you just to turn towards the, uh, the students that have been cooking the barbecue and doing the various activities. And can I just get you to give them a round of applause? Please? It's always a great opportunity for us to celebrate the outcomes of the projects that we're doing across Western Sydney. And we do have a special guest, Costa, who uh, might say a few words to you all. And to come out here and to see your agricultural, to see your agricultural uh, learning facility is something that I'm going to take and share around the country where I go because, because this really is a model. It's a brilliant model. Well done. Um, Congratulations. Tristan, Lavender, Tracy. Tension and an excitement in the air. The crowd has gathered. They've, they've, they've almost marched. I think there's about three or four different types of meats being cooked. The potato just broke, broke open like it was to the letter. This is exciting. This is absolutely magnificent. Jeff is happy. Jeff, well, that is a hell of a relief. Kids need to understand where animals um, or where, where their, their, their food comes from. And if it's an animal, they need to understand the process. If they understand the process, they can then make an informed decision. This, this project here is, is really, uh, uh, I mean, from, from my point of view as an environmental educator and as a, as a, as a food agitator, <laughs> if I could call it that, to agitate people to be conscious of their food, this, this, is, this is the ultimate baton. And if, if we're handing this as a baton on to our kids, well then we know the future of food is in safe hands.